Let's get some weekend weather now. Uh, Emmett Friedman's in New Zealand today. Excellent. Good morning to you, Cam and Layla. Yes, we're travelling abroad for our weather this weekend. We are in New Zealand in Marlborough, which is situated in the northern part of be. the South Island. Great spot to be, Cam, especially when it's for the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival, oh, which we will me. be exploring all of today. I know it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. This is New Zealand's premier wine region, and today they're expecting about 8,000 people to come to Brancott Estate to check out the festival, to taste a few wines, and to enjoy some delicious food as well. But the weather back home, looking pretty varied, but very hot in the southeast. We'll take a look at the forecast and see what's happening with your capital cities. On this Saturday morning, starting up north in Cairns, it is looking like a showery day and a top of 28 degrees with storms possible too. Storms and rain at times in Townsville. 30 degrees and partly cloudy in Brisbane and overcast on the Gold Coast with a top of 29 degrees. 28 and fine skies in Sydney if you are in Canberra. Sunny too, a top of 38. A hot day forecast from Melbourne topping 40 degrees. 25 and mostly sunny in Hobart. Adelaide, it is going to be very hot but luckily a cool change headed your way later in the day, a top of 42. 31 and clear skies in Perth looking like a mostly sunny day with strong winds about for the Alice. And if you are up in Darwin, monsoonal showers and storms are possible and a top of 31 degrees. Well, Marlborough is where they create 75% of New Zealand's wines and primarily it's the Sauvignon Blanc variety that everyone is excited about. Here at Brancott Estate, they actually planted the first Sauvignon Blanc plantings about 40 years ago. So that is one of the primary focuses of today's food and wine festival. But we're also going to be getting involved in some of the other activities that you can experience across New Zealand all throughout the weekend. Layla? All right, and it's not very well known that the way to reserve your own Sauvignon Blanc is to find a casket and sit on it. <laughs> well, look, I can't drink any this morning, so I may as well sit on some. It's a good compromise, at least. Well, at least no one else is going to drink it. Thanks very much, Emma. Thank now, much. let's get the weekend weather now with Emma Friedman doing it tough in New Zealand this morning, Emma. <sighs> Really hard job, but someone's got to do it, Layla and Cam. We are in Marlborough this morning, which is situated in the northern part of the South Island of New Zealand for their Wine and Food Festival, and they are celebrating 30 years of the event this year. It does kick off in a couple of hours' time. It is 8.30 in the morning at the moment, so a lot of people are just setting up their different uh, stalls, all of their produce, with all their product, and they're expecting about 8,000 people to flood through the gates and to have a very merry day indeed. But we're going to take a look at the weather and see what's happening back home in your major centres, starting off in Cairns, looking like a rainy and stormy day up north, a top of 28 degrees, 31 and a couple of storms and rain at times too in Townsville. If you are in Brisbane, partly cloudy skies, a top of 30 forecast and 29 with overcast conditions if you are on the Gold Coast. Moving into Sydney, sunny and a top of 28 degrees, 38 and very sunny in our nation's capital. If you are in Melbourne, that's where it starts to heat up. It's going to be a hot day, 40 the top, 25 degrees and mostly sunny in Hobart. In Adelaide, it's looking like a very hot day indeed. A late change though, 42 degrees, 31 and sunny in Perth. In the Alice, mostly fine and windy, a top of 36 and 31 with monsoonal showers and storms if you are up in Darwin. Now, Layla, I know at the moment, because you are with child, you cannot enjoy the, the lovely Sauvignon Blanc that is most well known from this region, but... Everyone loves a bit of a carb on a Saturday morning. So we thought it was appropriate this morning to visit New Zealand's third best bakery. Yes, the third best, which is actually the Picton Village Bakery. But they lay claim to having the nation's best sourdough, and rightfully so, because they do have a plaque on their wall um, from an award they have won. So, Angie, if you can just pass me that. That's Angie, and she does she does stuff for me. Um, this is the bread that <laughs> I was talking about. Angie's the third best producer. That... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you do not want to get on her bad side. <laughs> Cam, you know better than that. You do not. You know better than that. <laughs> this is the bread, though, I am talking about, and it is everything that you want in a sourdough. It has got a great aroma. It is crunchy on the outside. It is soft on the middle. And if I just break this, it is going to be absolutely delicious later on with a bit of cheese and maybe some of that lovely wine that we're going to be experiencing at the Wine and Food Festival <laughs> a little Look at later that. on. But um, I am told that the key ingredient in this Cam and Layla is definitely a whole lot of love and we're going to be getting stuck into the festivities of this great event in the next half hour or so. Thank Excellent. You, you Bring back that uh, third best sourdough for the second best breakfast team in the country. No, it's, it's, it's the best sourdough from the third the best bakery. Get it right, Layla. Get it right, you know. <laughs>
Only Carl and Lisa beat us. <laughs> oh, do they? Yeah. We're second yeah. best. Are they the best? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it depends if you want to get up five mornings a week at three in the morning <laughs> or two mornings a week at four in the morning. Yeah. Uh, your Saturday weather is next. Good morning, Emma. Good morning to you, Layla and Cam. We are in Marlborough in New Zealand this morning for the Marlborough Food and Wine Festival. It is a tough job, but someone's got to do it. In all honesty, though, it is going to be a magnificent event. We'll have all the action live from here, plus your Saturday weather forecast straight after the break. Good morning. It is time for your weekend weather with Emma Friedman. Emma, tell us what we're missing out on. We want to hear about it. It is a very tough life that I live, Layla and Cam. I'm often very sad to come to work, but not today, because I am spending it in the lovely vineyards of Brancott Estate, which is hosting the 30th annual Marlborough Wine and Food Festival. It is a great part of New Zealand, a must do when you visit this great country to come up to the top, top part of the Southern Island to visit Marlborough where they make 75% of the country's wine. And I tell you what, I've had a couple of drops over the last couple of days, I'm not gonna lie about that. And it is A grade 10 out of 10 stuff. We're gonna take a look at the weather though and see what's happening with your fly around before showing you around this magnificent property. Starting off in Queensland and in Cairns, it is looking like a rainy day with storms about a top of 28 degrees, 34 and partly cloudy in Mount Isa. Looking like a sunny day in Longreach, topping 37 degrees. Bundaberg and Maryborough, partly cloudy with temperatures in the low 30s. And topping 29, it will be fine until daybreak and then a showery day in Noosa. So there you go. Moving into New South Wales, Grafton, partly cloudy, 30 degrees. 38 and hot and sunny for both Tamworth and Dubbo. If you are in Broken Hill, hot and sunny, 42 the top. Hot conditions also expected in Wagga and Albury and 38 degrees with very warm conditions for our nation's capital. Now the heat wave does continue in Victoria, Mildura, very hot and sunny, 42 degrees. 39 and hot and sail and it's looking like a chance of a storm may affect Warrnambool, a top of 35. We'll move into Tassie, Launceston, partly cloudy skies, 31 degrees and 27 with light late showers if you are in Strawn. Moving into South Australia, Mount Gambia, the possibility of a shower, 39, 42 and an afternoon change expected in Sejuna and it is also going to be very hot in Cooper Pedy. Sunny skies though, 43 for your Saturday. Let's move into the west and in Albany, cloudy in WA, top of 19 degrees, 28 in the chance of a storm in Kalgoorlie. In Carnarvon today, becoming windy, sunny though, a top of 34 and looking like 38 degrees will be your expected high if you are in Caratha and Port Hedland. And moving into the top end of the country, sunny in Yalara, 39 degrees, 31 in monsoonal showers and storms in Darwin. In Catherine today, showers and storms as well, topping 32 and 33 with showers and maybe a storm too in the afternoon if you are in Tennant Creek. Well, the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival has been here for 30 years and the site for this great event is Brancott Estate. They have 600 acres of vineyard here and their chosen rose is their most well-known wine. It is a delicious Sauvignon Blanc. In the region, though, of Marlborough, they have over 140 wineries and 40 cellar doors. And one of the most iconic and quintessential things to do in Marlborough is to sit down and have a delicious long lunch with a couple of glasses of wine that are made from these little babies, the grapes at Brancott Estate. 8,000 people are gonna be flooding through the gates in the next couple of hours to enjoy this great festival and we're gonna be right in the thick of it, enjoying it, maybe smelling a few wines, probably not drinking too many, but uh, it is gonna be a really lovely day and luckily the sun is shining, which is always good news when you're in the land of the white cloud. Layla and Cam? Yes, indeed. Uh, sun is shining on you, that is for sure. Have you had your in a health bus today? Bonjour bros, well that's what we've come up with today because we think that Marlborough where we are this morning, Cam and Layla, is quite reminiscent of France. It is the premier wine region of New Zealand. We're here for their wine and food festival. And this is one of the things you can do when you visit the region. You can either take a tour to some of the 40 cellar doors in the area via bus if you are lazy, or if you're quite athletic like myself, you can do it on a bike. They call it sip and cycle. It is quite a delightful trip. You can try a whole variety of wines including the great Sauvignon Blanc that is so famous in this part of the world. We'll do that after we take a look at your weather and see what's happening at your place on this Saturday.
Starting off in Cairns, it is looking like a wet and stormy day, a top of 28 degrees. 31 and a few storms about with rain at times in Townsville. If you are in Brisbane, partly cloudy, a top of 30. And 29 with overcast conditions on the Gold Coast. Moving into Sydney, sunny skies headed your way, a top of 28 degrees, but 38, very hot and sunny in our nation's capital. If you are in Melbourne, it's going to be another hot and sunny day, a top of 40 degrees, 25 and mostly sunny in Hobart. If you are in Adelaide, very hot but a cool change headed your way later in the day, 42, 31 and sunny in Perth. Mostly clear skies with strong Strong winds about for the Alice, 36 the top, and an expected high of 31 degrees with monsoonal showers and storms if you are in Darwin. Let's take a look at where our today's show Jeeps are hitting the streets on this Saturday. If you are in Sydney, the Kellyville Rotary Park, in Melbourne Mill Park Leisure Centre, in Brisbane the Southport Community Centre, Adelaide West Beach Surf Club in CB Road, and if you are in Perth, Maccabean Memorial Oval, which is situated on Woodrow Avenue. So when you do your sip and cycle, you take along a little backpack with all of the essential supplies, including a baguette. We don't know why we quite need that, but we thought we looked quite good in the backpack. But this is one of the wines you can sample at the Wine and Food Festival today. It is one from Brancott Estate where we are based this morning. A lovely Sauvignon Blanc, the main wine grown in this region along with a delicious Pinot Noir. But I am told that if you have a glass of this, it would go well with some seafood and it has some very strong tangy passion fruit aromas and a bit of white peach in there as well as a full-bodied Sauvignon Blanc. These are going to be consumed very moderately today, I must ensure you of that, but they are going to be uh, lots of different wines to choose from and that is one of the main attractions of the festival because over 60 wineries are taking part, 8,000 people popping on down and if you do find yourself at Brand Cotter State in the near future in Marlborough, you can actually do a sip and cycle tour amongst the vines here as well. So first glass of the morning, Cheers to you, Cam and Layla. Could be a bit of a wobbly bike ride home, MC. <laughs> yeah, good, couldn't it? Mm. <laughs> I can never taste the passion fruit or the... How's good's your You know palate? what? I can't taste it until someone says it. Then suddenly I can taste... Oh, yes. Yeah, leather, tobacco, <laughs> I can taste all this Vanilla. Stuff. Vanilla. Fish, yeah. yeah. How do those flavours get... You know, I don't have a refined palate, I have to admit. Mm. <laughs> That's good. No matter which way you slice it. Thanks very much for that, Bonnie. <laughs> it is weather time with Emma Friedman. Good morning to you, Cam and Layla. We are getting stuck into the Food and Wine Festival, which is happening in Marlborough today. And this is Mark Southern, and he is one of the top chefs here in New Zealand. And we've got many of the world's best chefs here at the festival, plating up some delights for the punters to enjoy. It's not just about the wine, but the food as well. And today, Mark is actually creating a dish, including this big baby. He's a four and a half kilo king salmon farmed in the Marlborough Sounds very robust in flavour, full of omega-3s. It looks absolutely exquisite. And we are going to finish our plating up straight after we take a look at your weather and see what's happening at your place on this Saturday morning. Starting off in Cairns, it's looking like a rainy and stormy day, a top of 28 degrees. 31 and a couple of storms with rain at times in Townsville. No, if you're in Brisbane, partly cloudy, a top of 30 degrees, 28 and overcast on the Gold Coast. And if you are in Sydney, sunny and a top of 28. 38 degrees in Canberra with sunny skies. If you are in Melbourne, hot and a top of 40 degrees. 25 and mostly sunny in Hobart. If you are in Adelaide, very hot with a late change headed your way, a top of 42 degrees, 31 and sunny conditions in Perth. Moving into the Alice, mostly sunny skies with winds about as well, 36 and 31 is the forecast top in Darwin with monsoonal showers and storms due. We are loving New Zealand and we got here via Air New Zealand. You can visit their website airnewzealand.com.au. They have daily flights out of all the capital cities in Australia to Blenheim, which you can then get to Marlborough via. Um, they are via Auckland, Christchurch and, of course, Wellington as well. OK, Mark, so we have got this delicious plate of morsels. What have cre you created for us? Well, basically, we've got the Aura King salmon, so it's right around the corner. We've got it out at sea from Marlborough, the Marlborough Sounds. Uh, we've uh, showcased it in two different ways. So we've got a sashimi there, we've got an apple and wasabi jelly with some fresh red apple. Uh, we've got some beetroot cured salmon, so that's been curing 24 hours. Golden roasted beetroots, a horseradish creme fraiche. Oh, goodness. And to finish, we're just going to give it a light smoke. Oh, that looks absolutely exquisite, Mark. And of course, that is paired with this delicious Spy Valley Envoy Chardonnay, which I'm told has a very 
powerful and racy palette. So that'll be a, a great pairing. And you've got a little bar happening at the festival as well that yeah. people can visit. We've got a little ice bar going over there, so you can taste all these uh, dishes here. And uh, come on down and enjoy the sun and the wine and the food. and. Uh, Enjoy the day. It is going to be a great day. I'm going to tuck into that for a little bit of brunch, but it's now time to cross to Carl, who is in Bali with the latest on Chappelle Corby. Carl? Very jealous, Nems. Very jealous. And nothing but tropical rain and a lot of nazi goreng over here. And it's been, look, a long night. Won't it? Let's get some weather with Emma. That is a deluxe feast right in front of you, yeah, Cam and great. Layla. That is the spread that you can enjoy when you come to the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival that is on today, but also when you visit Geeson, the much-loved brand of Geeson wines. They are do delicious Sauvignon Blancs, very popular right throughout Australia. You can find them almost anywhere, but very popular right here in New Zealand as well. And this is the man in charge, Alex Geeson, who's just helping some customers as they flood through the gates at the moment, having a little bit of a smell of some of your fine produce. We're going to have a chat to Alex about the Geeson label of wine straight after we take a look at your weather and see what's happening with your major centres right across the country today. If you are in Cairns, it is looking like a stormy day with rain about as well, a top of 28 degrees. A few storms with rain at times in Townsville, 31 the top there. 30 and partly cloudy conditions in Brisbane. If you are on the Gold Coast, overcast skies, a top of 29 degrees and fine conditions also in Sydney by the harbour, topping 28. 38 degrees and sunny conditions for the nation's capital, looking like a hot day in the southeast. Melbourne topping 40. 25 degrees and mostly sunny in Hobart. Very hot in Adelaide, late change due, top of 42 degrees. 31 and clear conditions in Hobart. If you are in the Alice, mostly sunny but windy conditions. 36 and up in Darwin, you may have a monsoonal shower or storm, topping a very pleasant 31 degrees. Well, Geeson is celebrating their 30th vintage and the festival is celebrating, celebrating their 30th event as well. So there's some great synergy. But you make a terrific Sauvignon Blanc, which is so renowned in this region, Alex. But what makes the best Sauvignon Blanc? Well, Emma, that's a very good question that we get asked numerous times, particularly on international trips. Mm -hmm. I think it makes really the location, the unique location of Marlborough, the way that it's shaped and nature has given us the mountain ranges, the Pacific Ocean and soil types that haven't really been uh, explored uh, for two, three thousand years in Europe for, for agriculture. The other thing is, of course, is the, the New World can attitude and passion to thrive for excellence and making the best possible wine out of this region here. We have that in spades, my friend. You are full of passion and vigour for a Sauvignon Blanc and so am I, Cameron, on this Saturday morning as well. <laughs> Cheers to that, my friend. We will have a few of these a little later Cheers. on with the festival and we'll be back with more from the Marlborough Wine and Food event in the next little while, Cam. All right, you're talking our language. Thank you very much for that, MC. See you soon. Uh... Thanks very much for that, Vonnie. It is time for the weather with Emma Freeman, who is in New Zealand this morning, living at large. Oh, I'm a lucky girl, Cam and Layla, I sure am. We're at the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival, which is happening today. And one of the chefs who is in town to cook up a feast is Matt Wilkinson, who is from Pope Joan, a great restaurant in Melbourne. Good morning to you, Matt. Good morning. And you will be cooking up for us something, including these... Cloudy Bay clams. Yes, so, um, right. We went out yesterday and harvested these. OK. Um, you can eat them raw like mm -hmm. that. They're really amazing. But really amazing. Really amazing. Like, stunningly, like like eating like a raw oyster, you can eat a raw clam. OK. Um, um, amazingly farmed, really, really good for the environment. Um, and this is just a dish that quickly do at home. OK. Um, well, you, get, you get going on that, and I'll ask you a little bit more about it. Cool. After we take a look at the weather. Is that OK by you? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, OK, let's take a look and see what's <laughs> happening. With your mags back in Oz today, if you are in Cairns, looking like storms and rain will affect you on this Saturday. 28 degrees, 31, and storms and rain at times in Townsville. If you are in Brisbane, partly cloudy, a top of 30 degrees, and overcast on the Gold Coast, topping 29. 28 and fine conditions in Sydney. If you are in Canberra, looking like a sunny day, very warm, 38. And then it starts to really heat up in Melbourne with a hot day ahead, 40, your expected high. 25 degrees and mostly sunny in Hobart. Adelaide can expect another very hot day. A late change expected, though, a top off 42 degrees. <laughs> 31, clear in bed. If you're in the Alice, mostly sunny and windy, 36, and Darwin, monsoonal showers and storms, topping 31. Before we go any further, let's just make mention of these rogues behind us. Who's behind us? These are some of the best chefs we've got in Australia, right? Uh, no, they're all right. They can cook a little bit. There's this, this guy, Fuzz, he's got this, um, was it, two one foot, uh, long grain, <laughs> and Mr Justin North. So there you go, they're just, I think the Beast Boys have had a pretty big night, to be honest, but let's, let's concentrate on our clams right about now. Well, this is the perfect dish okay. um, for a little bit of, you know, 
glass of wine, glass of vino. A nice Pinot Noir, which is uh, quite synonymous <laughs> with the region as well, right? So these are just steamed open clams. Okay, fantastic. You can have a little one there without the Thanks. dressing. Okay. And then this is a black bean vinaigrette, which is just ginger, shallots, garlic, this black bean, um, right. some rice vinegar. Is this vinegar. traditional from your um, English heritage? This is actually all the way from Yorkshire. <laughs> um, <laughs> This is what my mum used to cook for me on a Sunday. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that to be true. Now you cook that up, mate, and of course when you're at the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival, you can go over and watch those boys, those rogue men, uh, cook up a feast. They're already causing trouble and it's only 11.15 here this morning. Cam and Layla, so you can imagine what it's going to be like here at about 4 o'clock this afternoon, right? It's going to be very good. Let's tuck in <laughs> and we'll see you back here to wrap up our festivities in the next half hour. <laughs> Things are getting pretty loose over there. It'll be a fun are, day, I reckon. They are. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. A bit of Dave Dobbin playing in the background. Yeah, I noticed that myself. Full <laughs> Kiwi spirit. <laughs> Let's get the weather now with Emma Friedman. Weekend Today's Weather, brought to you by Inner Health Plus. Have you had your Inner Health Plus today? Good morning to you, Cam and Lella. Well, we have had a terrific morning checking out the Marlborough Wine and Food Festival, which is on every single year during the month of February. Lots of people flooding through the gates here at Brancott Estate at the moment to enjoy the hospitality of over 60 wineries, including Spy Valley, and this is a glass of their delicious bubbles grown and made entirely in the Marlborough region. One of the many things you can enjoy when you come to the festival, as long as you get some food and some water into you as well, as many of the patrons are doing at the moment. We'll take a look at the weather though and see what's happening at your place for the final time today. Starting off in Cairns, looking like a rainy day with storms about a top of 28, 31 degrees and storms and rain at times in Townsville. If you are in Brisbane, partly cloudy skies, a top of 30 degrees and 29 and overcast if you are on the Gold Coast. Moving into Sydney, a sunny Saturday, 28, 38 and sunny in Canberra. Into Melbourne, looking like a hot day in the southeast, should cool down the next couple of days. 40 is the top, 25 degrees and mostly sunny in Hobart. If you are in Adelaide, another scorcher. A late change though, which is welcome news, a top of 42 degrees. 31 and sunny in Perth. Moving into the Alice, mostly clear with strong winds about 36 and if you are in Darwin, monsoonal showers and storms are due, topping 31 degrees. A big thanks to Air New Zealand for getting us over to the land of the long white cloud. They have daily flights out of all the capital cities in Australia to Blenheim, which is in right in the heart of the Marlborough region. You can get there via flying into Auckland, Christchurch and Wellington. A big thanks also to New Zealand Tourism for getting us over here as well. They have been very hospitable hosts. Well, today has been fabulous, let's be honest. It hasn't been a drag at all. Coming to one of the best wine and food festivals you'll find anywhere across the world. But I tell you, tomorrow, Cam and Layla, we've done a little bit of a recce to our site right on the Marlborough Sound at Pepper's Portage and it is got to be seen to be believed. It is so picturesque and so stunning and that's going to be our location to show you some of the other activities that you can get up to when you're in New Zealand's South Island. Cheers to you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Brilliant. Cheers. You enjoy your day. I think a beautiful afternoon will unfold for Emma. Yeah, I do. I think there's good portents there and everything tastes nice with a glass of wine. The whole mood lifts, doesn't it? <laughs>